Hi guys. Well, here we are again in sunny Chorley. Um, we've been having a brilliant day today by the pool. Yeah. Having a couple of beers in the sun, chilling out with the kids, uh, and yeah. we are still awaiting our trip back to Bulgaria. However, we have got some good news, and the news is that our estate agent, Pat and Helen, have been back in touch with us letting us know that the property is ready to go and the paperwork is in order. There have been one or two issues with the paperwork, uh, but our lawyer over there has sorted it all out. Um, so when we go over on the 20th of June, in a couple of weeks time, we will be able to sign the papers and get the keys for our new property. So exciting times, really looking forward to it. Um, however, I will say that it has taken longer than we expected and it's meant that the biggest problem has been finding cheaper flights because we're now into the height of tourist season. So, uh, sort of like June, July, August, the flight prices go through the roof. So we've booked a one-way flight for all four of us and it's working out in the region of £70 each and that's with a couple of uh, cases as well. So, not too worried. Uh, really looking forward to getting back over there really looking forward to going and seeing the property first hand because obviously this property we've only seen on a video call with Pat and watched the video that he took of the property so it'd be good to see what we're going to need what we need to do when we get there and Pat and Helen again have been amazing they've offered us to stay at an apartment if we need to for a few days uh, until everything's signed and sealed and we can move in so yeah exciting stuff the kids are getting excited now um, they just want to go to the beach needless to say so yeah time will tell I've had a few people sort of questioning certain aspects of what we're doing um, and how we're going about it so I thought I'd try and answer it the best I can <laughs> um, to be fair the best way of explaining it is uh, is we're learning as we go however there is a vast amount of knowledge on YouTube. There are some amazing people that we've been following on YouTube for quite some time uh, and learning from their mistakes. So the things that I've definitely done right so far are taking a recommendation on the accountant who helped me set up the limited company so we could buy land in Bulgaria. Uh, I've had so many people tell me that it's cost them between £800 to £1,000 and yet my whole business cost setting up came to around £200 total which was pretty impressive and that's including all the little extra fees like the bank charges, um, the notary fees around £200 to set everything up and I was over in Bulgaria to do this so I spent the week over there to do this and it was brilliant it's, it worked perfectly um, so that was the first thing so smart, smart tax consulting absolutely brilliant guys I met two of the guys from there uh, both of which acted like my translators and everything can't fault them uh, the next thing was obviously the issues I had trying to find a, a trustworthy estate agent eventually did with with Pat and Helen's brilliant as well Pat's wife Helen she's brilliant because uh, they do the legal stuff as well behind the scenes for you so you've got to remember with the language barrier it can be quite difficult all in all we've kind of yeah we've kind of taken advice and and just gone with the flow to be absolutely honest with you um, the final the final notary fees the final lawyer fees and bits and bobs I don't know yet but I will find out uh, before we go over on the 20th and then sign sealed and delivered and keys in our hand um, I've been told not to worry that there's nothing that should really go wrong from this point onwards it's all ready to go uh, if for the next few years or even a couple of years we're not able to satisfy the needs for a D visa then we only have 90 days 
in Bulgaria and then we have to do 90 days out of Bulgaria and it's not even as simple as three months in three months out it's a rolling 180 days so it's quite a, a difficult thing to do and we just realized that actually putting our our cats and our dog through the process of journeying backwards and forwards to Bulgaria would be a bit too much it would be too difficult for them it would be too much for us especially with the two young children as well uh, and apparently leaving the kids behind and taking the animals wasn't an option uh, according to the wife but you know got to try these things uh, so yeah so we've decided to rehome them which we have managed to do we've got successfully rehomed them to friends which is always nice so we know we know where they are uh, we know who have them and we can come back and visit them if we choose to which is nice and they're keeping us updated but that was kind of an unusual experience having to do that as part of our uprooting from from the UK hi guys so as you can see behind me we've got a lot going on today uh, this is Cody's primary school uh, and yesterday was his last day we've taken him out of schooling in the UK uh, and we'll homeschool him until he's at the age of seven where he can attend the school in Bulgaria with any luck if we get everything sorted out with our visas and residency so uh, yeah so interesting times it's been a bit strange for Cody because uh, obviously this is his last time seeing some of his friends at school uh, but he's so excited and all he wants to do is go on his holidays as he keeps telling me so uh, yeah so last chance to see his friends before we fly out tomorrow this time Well guys, we've got to that stage now where we're uh, on the 20th of June and heading back to Bulgaria to go and sort everything out for the house. So uh, yeah, at Manchester Airport, ready to get boarded onto the plane and uh, yeah, three and a half hours and we'll be in Borgas. So guys, guess where we are? So this has been a long time coming. Uh, it's taken me a few weeks longer than I expected. But we are here, we're in Sunny Beach, in Bulgaria. We are being uh, looked after very well by Pat and Helen from One Stop Property Shop, uh, who are letting us uh, stay in one of their apartments until we get the keys to our house. So uh, yeah. Good times ahead. We've been here a couple of hours. We had a bit of a sleep, a bit of a relax, and then straight in the pool. Can't beat it. Well, first evening out, absolutely glorious. Passing the big wheel, it's the new big wheel in Sunny Beach. Absolutely love it here. And even though we're coming into season now, it's busier than when I was here in May, a lot busier, but it's still nice. It's not. It's not too much. It's really pleasant. It's really not, pleasant. It's not too busy. Mm. So yeah, so we'll see how this evening goes. We'll grab some food. Catch up with you later. Again. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> big one, big one. <laughs> to be Cody. He's lunging. <laughs> well, second day here, and uh, as we promised the boys, we'd go to the beach. We came down today uh, about lunchtime after having a meeting this morning with our estate agent just to chill and relax. And uh, yeah, 
you ever heard the saying, life's a beach? It really is for us at the moment. And hopefully it'll stay that way. So we're going visiting the house tomorrow. Uh, we've got the key holder to meet us. And hopefully by the end of the week, we'll have the keys in our hands and be able to move in. So we'll keep you notified. But uh, for now, we'll just enjoy what Sunny Beach has got to offer. See you later, guys. So, I've never ever <laughs> done any of this before. So I do apologize if I end up waffling on. But this is my first full day now in Bulgaria. We're at Sunny Beach. Um, currently sat in the Condor bar, bar having a coffee because we've had to hide from the sunshine. Um, it's, it's, it's a hot one. Uh, so now we're just hiding with the kids. Say hello, Cody. Hiding with the kids in the shade, trying to cool down. But it's been absolutely perfect, um, super beautiful, and just can't fault the place at all. Bye!